We're here. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still get nervous every time you record? Yes. So do I. That's so crazy. I feel like a little kid. I'm, I'm like you, I'm, I'm aging backwards. What? I'm aging backwards. Who said that? Me. Bruh. <laughs> I, I feel mean, like the older I get, the more childish I become. So it's like, <laughs> oh, Benjamin. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. To a podcast about nothing with V. M-A-D. Woo! Hope you guys had a great Mother's Day. Ooh. Ooh, all the mommies, not mommies. I had a great Mother's Day. Yeah, you really did a lot of nothing. I know. But Outback was a great choice. Shout out to you. Yeah, go (laughs) Outback, go Outback. People make fun of me because I like the simple things in life. My dad was like, you know, people want to go to morton's or is that what it's called yeah steakhouse yeah or like Ooh, long fancy. horn and stuff like that and you asked for outback and i was like yes because first of all my dad and my brother cook the best steaks i've ever had so it's very hard for me to go out and get somebody else's steak true for fear of disappointment most likely that's usually what happens yeah but outback nobody makes wings like them their blooming onion is banging and for it to have been, like, picked up and dropped off, Bloom Onion was standing strong. Right. It the coconut good. shrimp, like, it was just, it, it was, was just, everybody was really happy, so. I can't even lie. Shout out to her for being a mommy. <laughs> right. Simple things in life. Simple things in life. But we have winners. We do. Woo! Our first giveaway. It was so exciting. Thank you guys so much for the participation. It was so fun. And big shout out to Nabby Organics and Better Roses for partnering with us on this Mother's Day giveaway. We really, really appreciate you guys. And Seriously, thank you so much. We use your products. So we just want to make sure that everybody else gets to experience the greatness. Seriously. Because Nabby a one right now i know i ask about this better roses candle every time i walk in here all right and you know what it is <laughs> like, oh what is that girl the same candle. <laughs> the same candle is better roses <laughs> so yeah so do you want to do the honors drum roll please <laughs> oh <laughs> our drum is Ooh. the week all right so for our first winner is golden margarita Woo-hoo! Shout out to Tiff. Thank you so much for participating. You got a basket with a bunch of mommy goodies coming to you. Great. And for our second winner, (laughs) this broke drum, (laughs) is T. Weefer. Terry. Woo! Thank you so much for participating. I know. (laughs) (laughs) We need to figure something out. All right. Thank you guys so much for participating. It was great. We'll be mailing those out to you. Just stay on the line. Girl, ain't nobody <laughs> on our <laughs> Stay on the line. We'll be in touch with your people. Oh, have your people you talk have to, to our people. It, speaking and we'll, into existence, yeah. we'll be on the station. Meet me at the station. Ooh. Let us drive the boat. What? <laughs> well, I'm on a boat. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. So, hopefully, we get to do that again soon. Yeah. I had fun picking the winner, seeing everybody participating and realizing like, oh, y'all like us. Yeah, we got like real fans. <laughs> we got real fans. People listening. Wait, ooh, did you pick a winner yet? Ooh. Ooh, we love all ten of y'all. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we <laughs> really do. Really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So today's episode. Today's episode, um, you know, we always have interesting conversations. So it came from like me asking what was the difference between sexy and classy and how are they similar or how do they differ? And just it just so happened that um a classy woman <laughs> 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 by the name of Aisha Curry said some things on a red table talk that stirred up a lot of controversy, which really it shouldn't have. I think it was just the excerpt and people knowing her situation that, you know, drove people crazy. Yeah. But it's a great conversation. It's been sparking up, and I've been excited to talk about it. So Me too. Sexy versus classy. What is the difference? I mean, to me, like, well, I like what you said about classy women. It's about experience. That's it how is. You, you see class. It's usually through experience or classic. 
But I've also seen some people who aren't of age to experience too much that I consider to be classy. Yeah. But your experience can come from your parents because you can live through vicariously through your parents. But, you know, I think older women are classy, not all of them, but older women, our grandparents, you know, yeah, old ass aunties, <laughs> not old ass aunties. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, the older ones, not the middle aged ones. They're classy because they are classic. They they have experienced some things. You know, yeah. I I was asking my husband, what is the like as far as men? What is men aren't classy? So what is it? He said distinguished. I'm a classic man. Oh yeah, no, that's not classic. Yeah, classic. Yeah, but distinguished. Yeah, like distinguished. Jadena, Jadena <laughs> definitely is not. <laughs> Jadena, I think he he borders, but I think it, when I think of a distinguished gentleman, I think of people like a distinguished gentleman, mm, Obama. Very much so. They are the epitome. See, those that's classy to me. Yeah. Those two He are and good. his wife are both Yeah. Very classy people. Yeah. Yeah. But and I guess that's experience cuz everybody's not the president. <laughs> right. Right, right. <laughs> like what you go through in life and and I think that all ties into and I like we said, Aisha is a very and although she's young, I think the way she's portrayed herself as a cook and a mom, she has classy vibes and tendencies, but she wants sexy attention. That's a serious thing. Like, and I think that happens with a lot of women, though. They're, they they see themselves in a certain way, and they don't want to see themselves in that light, or they don't want other people to see them like that. They want them to be shown or seen differently. Like, I've heard it a lot with women who are, quote, unquote, goofy or, like, silly women mm-hmm. when they want to transition over into, like, oh, leaving the homegirl phase to I want to be seen as, like, sexy. It's hard. That's me. <laughs> That's me. How is it hard, though? I'm not a very sexy person, although I've been told I don't. I don't see myself as a sexy individual. I think that's also to your definition. Do we know the definition of sexy? Let's look it up. Oh, this is a this is a little fact. Ooh. But it's still all opinion. No, because when I say that, it's because everybody can't be sexy in what other people's definition is. Like I don't think sexy just comes from the way you look. I think you can be sexy and be goofy and somebody might find that attractive. You can be sexy just cuz your hair is long and you might be busted ugly. You can be sexy like you don't know what people are attracted to. <laughs> I get yeah, I think I don't think sexy is necessarily a the way you look it's the way you you carry yourself it's you know so is so is classy though but I think class comes with age and I think sexy comes with I don't know I you know what I'm stumped this is a really good topic so let's see. The definition of, sec- of sexy is sexually a suggestive or stimulating. I don't like. See, this I understand what teachers mean when they say do not use the word in the definition. Like I don't. I'm looking for the definition of the word, not to be used and trying to figure it out. So we're gonna go to definition number two. <laughs> <laughs> Generally attractive or interesting, appealing. So it's just mm. a, what somebody appeal like what somebody likes. It's not necessarily. I think we have this whole. Well, I know from my generation, us being on the internet so much, thirst trapping, showing your body. Yes, that's not sexy. Titties that's out. trashy. Yeah, like there's a really, really thin line. Yeah. <laughs> I think thinner than the one between love and hate. There's a thin line <laughs> between being trashy and classy. But like I said, it's all about what appeals to your eye that you consider sexy. So I think a lot of women wouldn't consider themselves sexy because they expect it to be, they expect it to be one definition. Mm. you get what i'm saying yeah like i think i sound like beyonce my voice is sexy Ugh. i don't eat food <laughs> i chew on my tongue <laughs> deep in country okay and classy the definition is stylish and sophisticated oh i only got to do with the way you dress okay i think it has a lot well maybe not 
necessarily the way you dress, but the way you carry yourself. But I sophistication guess it, goes hand in hand with the way you dress because you're automatically not going to choose the thing that's showing your degletage. <laughs> you know, you're going to go for the turtleneck, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sophisticated. I don't know. I think it's a thin <laughs> line between both. But speaking of wanting sexy attention... That is true. You do have to train people for what you want. Like in Aisha's case, I feel as though she compared the attention that she was getting to her husband, which being his high school sweetheart has changed the dynamic of their relationship when he became a pro baller. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I think her wanting to feel the sexy attention has only come from what he he's he's done like what he's getting and she wants that too she wants to experience that too but for me i I say train them tell them what it is that you want because your relationship has changed get you some better roses Ooh. sprinkle some roses on the floor Ooh, get that good light, smelling candle right, light some candles massage oh she has massage oils oh see she's hooking you up massage bro. my body touch my body oh you guys, you can do this, too, with 25% off of the site right now as well. Bedofnaturals.com. We're from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got sponsors. Okay. But no, seriously, I think it will be her job to just let him know that's what she's looking for now. And if he's up to accepting, that's what she wants. I think that's what she did by letting the whole world know. But that's sad, though. I don't know. I mean, it's hard because we don't know what type of attention he's giving to her. We don't know. And I don't think it's what either one of them. I mean, I don't know. In my opinion, little facts, all opinion. (laughs) I think that for to be a mom, speaking from experience, your husband can tell you that you're beautiful and you're sexy. But in your 30s with three kids and married and nobody from the outside is even going phew phew because <laughs> I get what's up you know it's like damn like have I lost it do I look like a soccer mom all the time and not even the sexy soccer mom like if y'all follow us and y'all have seen my post when I was shopping for Cooper's birthday, I was like, look, I'm out here looking like a whole mom, rough, bags <laughs> under my eyes. You're staying up all night with these kids. You're up early. It's like you kind of lose yourself. Yeah. And you want to know that I am still sexy regardless of, you know, if your husband tells you or not. But I don't have an issue. <laughs> I'm about to say. Who got that problem? <laughs> but but what what do you think she would be expecting from him? Because you know, <laughs> this is always my thing. Being in a relationship and talking about issues, what do you expect the next day after you state your problem? That's always a like over time you can see the big goal. Like I want to feel like I want it or I feel like I'm sexy. So if he were to pop up and just do a romantic evening and tell you you're the sexiest thing in the world, would you feel awkward? Would you be like, This is exactly what I wanted? Like what what do you ex like what do I don't you think want she's happen? wanting anything from Steph though. That's the thing. I don't think she's that she's lacking or wanting anything from him. Uh, to me, in my opinion, the the conversation the way it sounded sounded like a lack of of something don't know if it's from seth but that's usually where you start who is seth steph Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. is it steph yeah Stephen, right stefan stefan <laughs> <laughs> but no i think from from what i heard in the excerpt that i heard from the red table talk is that it sounded like a lack like it, it sounded like she was lacking something with the pickup and his attention that he's getting from all these women that something is not balanced because he gets to feel wanted all the time. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know if she's getting to, she doesn't feel wanted. I don't know if it's by her husband, but it's like everybody else. Yeah. Again, like when you choose each other, mm-hmm. the attract, you know that the attraction is there. You yeah. chose me and I chose you. That's like, that's the point. But those women are lurking in the background waiting for one of them to F up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like men are more, I personally think, again, another opinion. 
I personally think that men are more respectful when it comes to a situation like this. And their respect Mm. for Steph outweighs their lust for Aisha. That's true. So they're not just going to go and run and holler at her. And, And I'm pretty sure there are plenty of men out there lusting after her. Just maybe not. In the, and that's why I said the last thing, but not in the light that she wants, because a lot of men, I'm sure, want to have somebody solid, want to be able to have the same, you know, child, you know, the mother of the, all their children and have somebody build a home and stuff like that. But Steph, Steph gets that and more like women left after that and they still tell, oh, you look good. Right. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I think it can come from him and she'll be fine. I don't know. Oh, look, we got a disagree. We got a disagree. <laughs> we, how are we excited about our disagreements? <laughs> right, because we always got the same opinions, but no. And and she just had a baby not too long ago. It's like all of that. So are you the, saying the like emotions, the... the hormones, everything? Like you just want to know that you have it. But again, I've I've never wanted attention. It makes me feel awkward. Yeah, yeah, guys, she's really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Like, we had a photo shoot yesterday. Yeah. Ooh, shout mm. out to our photography. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the photographer. Um, what is it? H. Greaves photos. H. H. Greaves photography. Photography and our makeup artist. Ooh, we had. Ooh, we had staff. We got, a team. we got a team. We got a team. But yeah, I. Even with taking the pictures yesterday, it was great getting dressed up. It was great putting on makeup. But when it was time for me to get in front of the camera, and it was so weird for me. It was so weird. I've never liked attention. I don't know how to take a compliment. That's the weirdest concept. What do you mean? What do you do with it when they give it to you? (laughs) I don't know how to take a compliment. What do you do? They give it to you like, yeah, I don't want to hear it. Take it back. Take it back. No. Thanks. That's all you got to say. Thank you. And yeah. sound normal. I don't know. It just really, it, and I've always been that way. I've always been that's, that way. That's a question we should all ask ourselves. So how do you view yourself? So when somebody gives you a compliment, how do you see yourself? Like, what type of compliments do you get that you're uncomfortable with? <laughs> oh, my gosh, you're so pretty. I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. It just makes me like... It makes me nervous almost. Why? Though? I don't know. Do you I not think you're pretty? I, it's not that. I mean, I think I look rough most days. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we talked about the shower thing last episode, so we won't go oh. into I shower today. <laughs> 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 it smell good. No, I'm just kidding. I take a shower every other day. Every couple of days. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Serious. Um... I don't know. It's not that I don't think that I'm pretty. Or it's not that I don't think that I'm not pretty. But it's just, I. it makes me feel weird when I know people are staring at me. But I told you, people are going to stare at you. You do not have eyes that are the same color as the rest of us in this world. True. First of all, first reason to stare. You wear glasses staring. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm staring. <laughs> I'm staring like I don't get it like I used to do certain things like I and I think it's maybe a defense mechanism always having something on my head are you hiding from the world yeah Ooh, that's deep Ooh. Ooh. it's like a comfort it's like a blanket having on hats having on head wraps although oh, that's true because I, I feel like I have to have on earrings to look feminine dog you don't look like a man <laughs> <laughs> I mean, according to Snapchat. Oh. I did a little face off thing. I look gross. (laughs) This is disgusting. (laughs) But no, seriously. Like, I, but that's how I I think about it, though. Like, I feel like I look rough without earrings on. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The whole compliment thing is very weird to me. I've been that way for as long as I can remember. So I can't, I can relate to Aisha in wanting to feel like you're desired. I understand that. But although I understand her, 
I can't relate, if that makes any sense. Because you're not going through it. Because I, I've never wanted that. I've never wanted men to catcall. But the, but we don't know if that's what she wants. But what is she? But uh, well, then that's a good question. Yeah, like we don't know what she wants. She really needs to be careful with what she asks for because then she'll her DMs will be flooded. Her DMs people, are probably flooded people now. People be trying to pinch her a little bit when she walks by. Ooh. Yeah, she wants it until she thinks and, the dude is not worthy. And then it's ooh me too. Ooh, me too. Right. With this whole <laughs> Me Too movement, you got to be careful. Ain't nobody doing that no more. Yeah. Like, people don't want to talk to you. People don't want to holler at you. Everybody's raping somebody. Everybody's touching somebody inappropriately. What? I mean, not really. But <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I'm just saying, Had like, everything is so, like, taboo to do nowadays. Like, you don't want to do this and do this. Like, I don't know. Like, as women, I can honestly say sometimes we want things, but when it comes time to get it or someone asking us, that's real. How do we want this to be, Speak. you know, given to us? We don't know. So it's just a feeling that we get because of something else that we see. That's why I said that there must be a lack coming from her side when she descri- describes it because he is getting so much attention and she feels like she's not getting any. So she's probably looking at stuff like, ew, you're like my mom telling me I'm pretty all the time now. Like, yeah. But what do you want? Like, you have to be specific. Yeah. Do you want do you want a few DMs so you can be like, look, look what somebody sent me today. Yeah. Mm. Nah, I, I don't know. I definitely understand, but I can't relate fully because I don't want nobody in my DMs. Yeah. I, I don't want nobody hollering at me, you know, out in the streets because I just ain't got time for it. Yeah, so she needs to she needs to be careful with that cuz I, I get what she's saying. People want to feel wanted. Three kids, married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. But be be specific because you also have somebody like Steph who's supportive and it seems like he wants to give you that. But if he ain't 50 Cent jumping in your DMs, what is he supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I think it, it, you know, her, like you said, being married, having kids, not having a baby not too long ago, she just hit, what, 30? It's like a pre midlife crisis almost yeah. and and having like you know that your husband's going to get hollered at just because of who he is yeah. not necessarily the way he looks or any of that you know this man has money and he's out there balling cuz personally i don't think it's about the looks I, who are you telling <laughs> <laughs> who are you telling yeah, i don't personally think it's about the looks mm-hmm. bro looks see through no <laughs> <laughs> he does he does like i don't uh, even think they have a foundation alive. to match him alabaster girl <laughs> <laughs> yo he look so we got this new clear foundation that's what that is alabaster the brightest brightest right. of the shades like yeah so again some women might find him attractive i personally don't but to each his own but i don't think it's about his looks and unfortunately they look just alike yeah so oh well yeah not unfortunately i mean they're not I'm i don't sure. think anybody's ugly but i just they're not my t- cup of tea i think aisha should be more proud of the image that she put out for herself and withheld and stood up like has on her back then to just be looked at as like oh the sexy person who's married to him like, yeah, you that's look good true. as a team. Like I personally think that like y'all look good as a team. They do. So, uh, their family is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with looks. But she needs to be more specific when she speaks like that cuz you need to know what it is that you want, girl. That's the issue. She doesn't know what she wants. Yeah. But I mean, it is what it is, but what's your favorite type of compliment? Um I like I like compliments that when I don't notice that people are watching me and they give me a compliment. Mm. Like, I like, oh, ooh, also about my skin, because I, I take a, a really good care of my skin. Well, I try to at least, regardless of the you hives do. that I got on my face this morning. But <laughs> oh. I'm just saying. Itchy butt. No, seriously. I like the compliments about my skin. Ooh, and I just started using the Nebby Organics uh, under eye or what is it under eye cream yeah for the dark circles puffiness because for some reason i feel like i've been getting enough sleep but i've been looking crazy like without makeup on i feel like i look crazy so make sure you get that guys it's amazing 
you you'll be surprised. The skin under your eyes is actually really sensitive and desires or requires different skincare than the rest of your face. Ooh. It really does. Fun fact. Fun fact. I didn't learn that at no school. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't learn it at the school. But no, seriously, every part of your face requires something different. Like your eyebrows are sensitive. Under your eyes are sensitive. Your mouth area is sensitive. Yeah. Cheeks in your forehead is the tough cookies, but those are dry for me. So, (laughs) But Nabby definitely has a great Great skincare line. Mm -hmm. Um, 30% off. At checkout, plug in nothing. N O T H I N G, all capital letters. 30% off. AD started using the under oh, eye. And I've been sticking my finger in um, Nab- N- Nabila. That's funny. <laughs> Davina's body butter. And that's good too, y'all. Really, really good. Their soaps are amazing. Again, we told you guys before, it doesn't leave that like film yeah. mm-hmm. on your skin because most of the time so moisturized yeah when you use those moisturizing soap and and you rinse off you feel like you just have this coat over your skin and you don't feel that way but you also don't feel dry so make sure you check them out 30 percent off of the full website at purchase tag you know put in nothing and uh definitely check them out a check word from out. our sponsors <laughs> <laughs> okay that was fun so yeah take care of yourselves we don't know what Aisha wants in life but hopefully it's not anybody else <laughs> but what's most important is to know what you want and what you desire you have to be able to describe this is oh I need to become an activist <laughs> an activist of what women's understanding understanding women Because I want to understand, too, because sometimes I confuse myself. There's so many days where I piss myself off because I just don't know. I don't know what if somebody asks me, do you want? I don't know. I don't know what I want to eat. Stop asking me. That is a big thing. (laughs) (laughs) That's a big thing. It's like, but I think it's okay. And I think that's what makes us so amazing as women. I think that's what makes us so unique is that one day we want this and one day we want that. And it's okay for us to get this and And that, that. Mm -hmm. you know, making sure you know what you want. And if you are in a relationship, making sure you communicate that with your partner. Communication in a relationship is the number one key you cannot survive in a relationship without it and making sure that you're 100 percent honest transparent alabaster people. yo have be an open book because it's the only way that it works that's true it is the only way that it works so if i was talking to aisha and if we were talking to aisha and we were to give her any type of advice and again i didn't watch the whole red table talk but i heard everything that has been going on is joe just tell him just tell him and teach him t and t tell him and teach him especially because you guys have been together for so long so i'm sure they're caught into a routine so you kind of have to shift the gear and kind of lead the hand okay this is what we're going to do we're going to switch it up like this or incorporate this every once in a while okay okay yeah okay and then giving your partner whether it's man or woman Giving them to ch- the chance, yes, LGBT, FG, <laughs> <laughs> giving them the chance to make that change, giving them the opportunity, and it's only fair. That's my problem. What I don't give nobody no time. To do that. What? So you you tell them, and that's you expect the, it next, the next day. day. The next day, we ain't got time to waste. We ain't got time to waste. And we're gonna study patience. <laughs> on our next episode (laughs) no seriously though that's my problem because i'm really good at expressing what it is i want when i know what it is so when i do say something i expect something to happen yes right away asap early never late but (laughs) (laughs) but it's very hard to teach an old dog new trick i don't want a dog Oh, okay. I don't want to talk. But Give when somebody's set in their ways. That's true, though. When people it. have a routine, and I say this all the time. Everybody has a routine. Everybody. And if you've been in a relationship with someone for 20 years, 40 years, even five years, and things have been going the specific way for the last 
five, twenty, forty years. That's a you big jump. You should be able to match that time to be able to make something change. I think. Yeah, but but also, just know that the person who's in the routine and doing the same thing hasn't changed. You've changed. Mm-hmm. You expect something different. So expressing that and then giving them the time to change, if or to tell you that they ain't gonna do it. Exactly, That's which true. is which is their right, and then it's up to you whether or not you're gonna you still stay. deal with it mm-hmm. and stay, or if you're gonna go off and do your own thing. It's like a great example is if I'm a stay at home mom, right? And for but she ain't never home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm a stay at home mom, and. I'm at home and we've been together for 10 years, 20, 30 years. And I'm, well, I guess 30 years, but 10 years. And I'm used to taking care of the kids. But now I want to go work or now I'm expected to go out there and work. Well, the rules are changed now. I'm not going to come home. If I'm out there working, I'm not going to come home and wash clothes. That's true. I'm not going to come home and, and cook and to make sure everybody's not that I'm not going to. We're going to have to have. I'm a, not going to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> We're going to have to find a middle ground. That's true. You know, so it's up to me to communicate that to you. And it's up to you to either want to make the change Tell me, yo, that's not going to work for me. Like, I still want you to come home, cook and clean and take care of the kids. And then it's up to me to say, all right, I'm going to stay. I'm going to figure this out. Or, you know, like. And every, every, what I'm noticing and like asking people more so about their relationships, I'm noticing that everybody has to go through a dramatic, drastic change at some point, whether it is empty nesting and you know, having to go back to work after a couple of years or having to do this and this schedule change or moving or stuff like that. Like, if y'all not communicating, y'all just living. Exactly. And and barely doing that. And then you're not happy. Exactly. Like, I refuse to be with someone and and not be happy with them. And, And everybody goes through their... But how many bad days do you expect to have with someone? Like, how long is too long to go through a phase? That's up to how much you can take. I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> no bad days right. ever. I put myself through enough bad days with my mind. I don't need nobody else coming to rain on my parade. Mm, ain't no rain when you hear. Is that even a song? <laughs> 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 no, I I think I think everybody's gonna have bad days. I think everybody like. I'm saying how long through, I'm sure you, because you guys have been together for a really long time at this mm-hmm. point. So when you guys have gone through drastic changes, things have, you know, aren't as what they deem to be normal. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? According to, according to what your norm was, how long did it take you guys to adjust? Or was it like simple conversations? Simple conversations. Because we came into relate into the relationship laying everything out on the table, is nothing that we can say that will shock each other. That's true. It's no conversation that we can't have and again we don't always agree definitely don't always agree but we always have the conversation yeah. and i don't have to agree with you and you don't have to agree that with would be me boring exactly where's the excitement in that right but yeah sure yeah uh-huh, yeah, yeah yeah of yeah, course hey right. babe anything yeah, yeah sure you jump on it. one foot sure <laughs> bark like a duck <laughs> but the, you know but you work at it and there's nothing that can't be worked out as far as my relationship goes. What works for V <laughs> is just us talking, communicating. And again, we don't always agree, but we always have the conversation. Yeah, I always make it work. Yeah, we always have the conversation. And the very important part is that I don't have to agree with you. You don't have to agree with me. But what we necessarily have to do is is have the conversation. That's true. I only avoid the conversations when I don't know what I want out of the conversation. And I do think you should take something out of important conversation. Every conversation has to be solution based. You sound like you do. Oh. (laughs) 
<laughs> well, that's real. That's real. That's real. It's like we can like him. we can vent with each other. We can have as something I learned from him because it's no point of us going back and forth without a solution. That's what I say about arguments. I'm not arguing with some like arguments are meant to be for a solution to find a solution you express your differences and you find a solution i'm not about to go back and forth for nobody just to be going back and forth because i will cut you off and block you on all platforms yes definitely will like i'm tired of block my block list is ridiculous stop blocking people (laughs) you're a public figure now i'm sorry if you come with the bs i'm blocking it I'm, that's how I deal. I, out of sight, out of mind. I don't want to deal with it. If you make me upset and I've tried to approach you, you know. If I've tried to approach you about a problem and you come crazy, you act crazy, you talk, I'm blocking it. I'm not dealing with it anymore. Yeah. I, maybe I'll grow up one day. <laughs> but like she said, today. the older she gets, the more <laughs> childish. <laughs> I'm, I'll grow up one day, but not today. If I, I don't have, t- I don't feel like it. I put myself down enough. Like I say enough to myself than to be having energy to go back and forth with somebody. No, not doing it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the solution-based thing, I didn't always approach conversations like that. It's like people have conversations. If you're talking, I'm I'm, I'm thinking of what I'm going to say next. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like it's I'm not even hearing, hearing you. you. Mm-hmm. I'm not even hearing you. But if you go with the problem and the solution, I, I believe it's – healthy and important to go back and forth i need to get my point across and i need you to hear me but i want to hear your part and i want i need to hear you that's where your maturity comes in because i don't have to hear what you have to say it's important because then how do you come with the solution i don't want a solution with everybody i have a problem with oh well there you go <laughs> well there you have it guys <laughs> there you go and and that's the end of that but yeah i yeah, think it, I, saying, I think though. it's important i need to hear where you're coming from i yeah. need to know why this happened i need to understand it but i also know that my my thoughts and my feelings matter are also well. valid yeah. and matter so i think it's important and i think it's so healthy to have disagreements not necessarily to have arguments but to disagree and then once you both have your problems, issues, concerns laid out on the table, then you can come with a solution and fix it together. But you have to go in with the mindset of this is what I'm trying to get across. See, yeah. And this is how I see we can fix it. And you might have a different opinion, but let's do it together because we're in this together. Yeah, that's true. I'm giving 100 percent of me. I need 100 percent of you. This relation is 200%, not no damn 50 50. Because where's the other 50 of me? Mm. So, like, That's come. Deep. Oh, I'm deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, come together. Aisha, tell Steph what you want. Or when you're telling us what you want, like AD said, make sure you are specific. Make sure you tell us. Make yeah. sure, you know. And again, she don't owe us shit. So, she doesn't. She don't owe us nothing. But she going to be feeling like she owes us something with all these explanations. That's what I don't like. All these feelings that you have and then the explanations that come behind it. You feel how you feel. Just leave it alone. We get it or we don't get it. Like, everybody's not going to get it. Yeah. And that's okay, too. Yeah. Like, everybody's not going to get it. I don't yeah, I don't have to explain my feelings. I can say what I say and have it be it. Yeah. Having somebody explain anything to you is a blessing in disguise because nobody owes you shit, girl. Mmm. Mmm. That's how I feel. So the lesson for today. Communicate. Communication. C-O-M-M-U-N-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. Oh, she can spell. Spelling B. She can spell. Spelling B. Did I spell it right for real? I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I heard T-I-O-N. Right, Sean. So, yeah, hopefully this will spark up the conversation in your relationships because everybody sounds like they're lacking. So just pick it up where you left off. (laughs) (laughs) Just talk. Just talk about it. Yeah, communicate with one another. Lay everything out on the table. Honesty. Everybody has feelings. Don't be scared to talk about them because we're all feeling something. Like they said, honesty is the best policy even when you're afraid of the reaction or the consequences. Because nobody can tell you your truth. That's true.
Because your truth will always be how you perceive it to be. Yep, that's so. it. Everything is just an opinion. Everything. It's just an opinion. How you feel because of what you're conditioned to know. Yep. So, so don't try to put your stuff on me. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, again, if you feeling sexy, make sure you get that bit of roses, your massage oils. Yes. 25% off That's at checkout. That's natural. Bed of roses naturals.com. Yes. And bed of roses naturals.com. Okay. And then our second sponsor is Navi Organics with two eyes. <laughs> N A B I I. Organics.com, where you can get your skin like me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 30% off at checkout on both websites with the code NOTHING. That's N O T H I N G. When your spelling bee, all capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> at checkout and enjoy, guys. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you for listening. <laughs>